beautiful day. The kind of day that just makes you want to go out and live life. Or bake cupcakes. That's good too. Just take in the peaceful, serene, quiet... Disturbed from her train of thoughts, Amy Rose ran as fast as she could toward the noise, only to wind up at the music shop of Knuckles the Echidna, aptly named Knuckles Noise. Inside, she found Knuckles, Miles, Tails, Prower, and Sonic the Hedgehog, the latter of whom was playing a screechingly high note on an electric guitar. And that, bros, is how you do a proper killer whale mating call on guitar. I don't know. Sounds more like an orca to me. Wait, what's the difference between a killer whale and an orca? Spelling. Are you out of your mind? Uh, huh? Hey! Oh, hey, Amy. Fancy seeing you here. Yeah, fancy this. I came here to rescue a dying bird, and I said find you three goofing off, making enough noise to wake the dead, and guzzling down gallons of coke! Ha! Shows what you know. I'm drinking a Pepsi. Watch this. Nice one. 10 out of 10. Thank you. It's all in the diaphragm. Whatever that is. Sorry, Amy. Since Juditude hasn't booked a concert in such a long time, our idleness has caused us to become fairly lackadaisical. Yeah, and we're bored out of our minds, too! Haven't booked a concert? Well, why not? Is there a lack of venues? Well, no. Hmm, a lack of interest? No, our fans are just as pumped as ever for us to come back. How about a lack of foresight, initiative, and planning? No. Actually, yes, that's exactly it. Tails, didn't you say you were going to book our next concert? Me? Knuckles said he would do it. Hey, don't look at me. Sticks said she would do it. Sticks. Yeah, Sticks. Knuckles? Sticks won't even touch my laptop, let alone call a venue owner over the phone. And? Uh, what you guys need is a road manager. Someone to book your concerts, take you places, and keep everything organized. You know, that's not a bad idea, Ames. I'd say it's a really good one. And you are just the hedgehog to do it. Yeah! Wait, what? I agree. You're very organized, Amy. And you've got a good taste in music and decor. We could use someone like that on the road. Me? B but I'm hardly equipped to be on the road. Said the girl who proved herself more capable of life in the wilderness than me and Knuckles once. I've got other responsibilities. Sticks and I plan to go on a girls-only shopping trip this weekend. Not to worry, Amy. I won't mind if you spend some time rocking out with the boys. All eyes turned to Sticks the Jungle Badger, who popped out from behind an amplifier at that moment. I could use the time alone to redecorate my burrow, catch up on the novels you gave me, and to stock up on peanut brittle for when Area 51 has a jailbreak. How long has she been hiding there? But, but, what about Eggman? He could come attacking any day! Who's going to defend the village from him? Almost as if on cue, Rotor's portal stationed in the corner of the room had activated, and in walked two short men in plumber's attire, one red and the other green. Mario and Luigi? Long time no see! What brings you here? The pretty sky and lush landscapes, of course. We're here on vacation! Vacation? Here? Yeah, why? Eh, uh, no reason. I just never heard of anyone wanting to come within a hundred nautical miles from here. Bunny sent us here to the portal. We have heard all sorts of wonderful things about this place. The lovely beaches, the scenic hills, and even this fancy eating establishment you call Mad Bourgeois. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Burger? The travel agent made it sound a little more fancy than that. And who was this travel agent again? Well, his name kind of slipped my mind. He spoke really fast. I could barely make out what he was saying. Best talking. 
Sounds like you could have used a certain someone who excels in that to help you with him. Very funny, Tails. Say, you two, I've got a question. Hypothetically, if a certain supervillain ever came waltzing through here, maybe a tat on the plump side with a big honking mustache, ah, uh, no offense to you. None taken. Great. Anyway, say he came crashing through here while you were in the area. Would you or would you not be interested in defending the village from him? Well, I mean, he came here to take a break from defending people. Mario! Since when have we ever turned down doing the right thing? You're right, brother. You know what they say, hero on vacation is still a hero. I've never heard anyone say that. Well, you have now. Well, now that that's taken care of, I guess we just need to find a venue for Dudu to perform at. Preferably someplace nice and... Done! Huh? What do you mean by done? While you were busy chatting amongst yourselves, I decided to start acting like a proper manager and I booked us a concert venue, along with a hotel for us to stay in. Great! Where are we going? Station Square. There's a tented venue near the center of town that will gladly take us in tomorrow night. Sweet! Now I've got a road manager, a venue, a show, I just beat my high score in Candy Crush. What could possibly go wrong? I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Meanwhile, on the other side of the island, in the island fortress of the villainous Dr. Eggman, the two anti-plumbers Wario and Waluigi were in a fierce battle of cunning and skill. Got any threes? Ah, goldfish. Ha! Two cards left and I win! You are one cheating anti-plumber! How am I supposed to cheat a goldfish? Alright you two, game over, we have work to do. Hey, but, but, but. <laughs> Gentlemen, please help me welcome our special visitor. Standing next to Eggman was a shifty looking Mobian dog, dressed in a fancy red ringmaster's jacket and a top hat. This was T.W. Barker, owner of the Barker Traveling Circus and an all out con artist. Wario, Waluigi, it's been five years. You still owe me 16 mobiums. Fooey off! Yeah, fooey off. We're out of here. Hold on, you two. This fine gentleman has a proposition to make. Let's listen to what he has to say. Y yes thank you, Doctor. Well, oh, you two reek of garlic so badly. Ah, uh, watch what you say. I've been laying off the garlic recently. At least for a little while to cleanse my palate. Or whatever the doc said. Yes. Believe it or not, this is a mild stench for them. Do go on. Yes, fine. <clears throat> now what if I told you of a rather ingenious plot to take world domination and be rid of that meddlesome band, Dudutude, as they call themselves? Eh, and nothing in it for us? Eh. And it also involves getting revenge on the two pesky plumbers, the Mario Brothers? Okay, now I'm impressed. Hey, me too. And the best part is, this brilliant scheme has already been set in motion. We're all ears, Barker. Fire away! The next morning, Dudetude was putting up final preparations for their show that night. Amy was taking her new role as manager seriously. Perhaps a little too seriously. Sonic, do you have your guitar ready? Yes. And your amplifiers? Yes. And your- Yes! Look, I told you 14 times now, Ames. We got everything we need! Yeah. I designed these special necklaces that hold our instruments and supplies conveniently around our necks. It even shrinks them down so we can carry them around without breaking our necks. Not that I'm not strong enough to carry them pre-shrunken down. Fine. I'm just making sure. And we're taking your van! The dude mobile? Amy, we just told you. We've got the portal in these necklaces. We don't need to drag our van around. Oh, so you can get stranded in the middle of nowhere and hoop it on foot again? I don't think so. Yes, I read up on your most recent road adventure. We're taking the van. Come on, Ames. Do you know how many speeding tickets I've gotten driving that van? You're Sonic the Hedgehog. You get speeding tickets traveling on foot. Touche. 
Fine. But I'm not paying for gas! I'll call it up. I installed a homing device on it. So it will be able to automatically come to us, no matter where we are. Whoops. I guess I should teach it to use the door. Well, I guess I better fix that when we get back. Come on, boys and girl. Let's roll! In no time at all, the portal was activated and the band arrived in beautiful Station Square. Many memories flooded the minds of our heroes as they drove through the busy streets and saw all the structures fully repaired from a fierce encounter that happened years ago. Look! That's where I took down Eggman's missile attack by myself! Yeah, and that's where Sonic took down Perfect Chaos! It's a shame Sally isn't here! We could go to Twinkle Park! After all, cute couples getting free! Uh, you okay, Ames? Peachy. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go explore around. Race you to the park! Now hold on, you three! You need to rehearse first! What? But we just rehearsed! Well, rehearse again! You'll be performing to a large audience, and you'll need to be at the top of your game! You know, this new role manager is starting to get on my nerves. Alright, dudes. Let's do it to it. That's my line. Whatever. Meanwhile, the Mario Brothers were having a nice time exploring Bygone Island. They even had Styx acting as a tour guide. And to your left, you'll find Amy's hut. It's just the place for one of her parties. Or to do something that's actually fun. Over there is Tails' workshop. It's filled with all sorts of doohickeys and contraptions. And it will make a perfect bunker for when the abominable snowman attacks. Cause trust me, he will. To your right is Sonic Shack, recently remodeled by Amy. Whether he likes it or not. And that's Knuckles' place. Uh... Anyway, moving on. Very invigorating trip so far, would you say, Luigi? Oh, I see balls, but... What's the matter? Oh, I don't know. It's just... I have this feeling something's not right. Why on earth would you be having this feeling now? We're on vacation. Beats me. Maybe it's been countering ghost, Koopa Troopers, and whacked out hotels while on vacation. Hey, listen, bro. We've been counting all of those over the years. And yet we've come out on top every time. We'll be fine. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Damn, I can't help but think. Over here is the giant conch shell I accidentally creeped Tails in the head with. I can still see the dent his surprisingly hard head left. Really? Let me see. Oh well, I suppose I'm overthinking things. Had Luigi looked behind him at that moment, he might have caught Wario and Waluigi hiding in the nearby bushes with mischief and malice written all over their faces. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, those two are gonna get it. Shh. He will, but not until Eggman gives us the go-ahead. Until then, we wait. Fine. Hey, are you gonna eat that garlic bread? Help yourself. <laughs> eat gluten-free and garlic-free. What? <laughs> this is a disgrace to garlic bread! Shh! Keep quiet. Besides, the dog insisted. Who needs that duck? I haven't gone in 12 years, and I'm in peak health! Achoo! Shh! This all night. Are you two quite finished? Hey, sorry, boss. Is it time? Not yet. Not until Barker gives us the all clear. I thought you were given the all clear. Well, you thought wrong, unsurprisingly. No matter! Those plumbers in that miserable band are in for it! It's only a matter of time. Back in Station Square, Dudatude finally finished rehearsing up to Amy's standards. Okay, Amy. We've been rehearsing the same songs for two hours, and my fingers feel like they're ready to fall off. Can we go have some fun now? Not yet. Next, we need to actually arrive at the venue to get set up. Then we can go exploring. Maybe. Uh, Alright. 
Come on, guys. Let's go. I actually think I missed the days of... Oh, Sonic, my hero! Almost. A few minutes later, the band arrived at a large tent located in the center of Station Square Park. As they walked in, a strange case of familiarity and dread fell over the four heroes. Anybody feeling a strange case of deja vu here? Yeah, it's almost as if we've been in this tent before. Like we've performed here, had a great time, and... <laughs> and we're suddenly locked up! Very astute. Sonic Heroes, Barker! Barker! That's T.W. Barker to you. And yes, it is I. Welcome back to my traveling circus. Barker then proceeded to pull a nearby rope, which revealed a large three-ring circus decked out with various circus equipment, including trapeze poles, a tightrope, unicycles, clown props, and even a giant cannon. You mooch! You tricked me into getting our band into your stupid circus! Yes, and you fell for it quite spectacularly. <laughs> Why, did you set up nearby performing venues and just click on the first one that came up? Don't you know you get the top search if you are rich enough? Uh... Um... Whatever! This ends now! Hiya! <laughs> you simpleton! Did you forget that Dr. Eggman equipped me with these incredibly durable cages? It's useless to try to escape! Huh! <sighs> He's not kidding! Our attacks don't even dent this thing! Maybe not for you. Let's see how it goes against a knuckle sandwich. Knuckles! Are you okay? You hit your head pretty hard there. Look. Ramps. We can use the ramps as ramps. So what's this all about? Just using us as cheap entertainment for your lousy circus? Oh no, as an entrepreneur, you've got to be more open-minded than that. I'm also holding you here so that when Eggman launches his attack, you four won't be in the way. Ah, what do you know? It's already begun. And three minutes ahead of schedule, might I add. The doctor is quite impatient. Your plan won't work. The Mario Brothers will stop you. Oh, ho, ho, I wouldn't count on it. At that time, back in Hedgehog Village, the Mario Brothers were having an exquisite meal at Meburger. Two. <sighs> this burger tastes like cardboard. You're mistaken, sir. Our Caesar salad tastes like cardboard. That burger tastes like styrofoam. I suppose things can't get much worse than this. <gasps> what? You said the forbidden phrase! What? Things can't get much worse than this? <gasps> Don't you know whenever anyone says that phrase, things get a whole lot worse? Ah, that's just superstition. Hey, Luigi, you gotta stop eating this stuff. Your stomach's acting up. Uh, that wasn't me, Mario. Suddenly, from almost out of nowhere, a giant obliterator bot crashed in, looking ready for destruction. At the helm were Wario and Waluigi, looking quite pleased. <laughs> nice of Eggman to let us borrow this robot, eh, Waluigi? Yeah, and it even comes with a shiny red sticker on the front that reads Reject. Whatever that means. Holy cannoli! Things did get much worse. Are you guys some kind of psychics or something? Actually, it's just some good old fourth wall breaking. You'll get used to it around here. You want fun? While you're sure you're fun, again. Come on, Luigi, we got work to do. But Mario, we didn't bring our tools. We need power-ups. What? You don't need me to leave them since we're going on vacation. Oh, right. Well, now what do we do? Back at the circus. So you tricked the Mario Brothers to go on vacation on our island as well? Precisely. And with no tools, no power-ups, no experience in single-handedly taking on one of Eggman's giant Bradnicks, they'll be completely helpless. And what happens when Eggman takes over? 
You're gonna let him be your master too? Who cares? I'll be rich anyway. But for now, I have a show to prepare for. The audience mustn't be kept waiting. Ta ta! As Barker strode away, Eggman's gigantic airship caused mayhem and destruction upon Earth, hovering slowly above Station Square. <laughs> this is much too easy. Attention, citizens of Earth! This is your new overlord, Dr. Eggman speaking. Kindly turn your rulership of this world over to me in 30 minutes, or Station Square gets blown off the face of the Earth! Oh, and I thought a vacation in Station Square would be peaceful. My baby! Okay, guys, we have to find a way out of here. Amy, you got any ideas? Amy? Amy, are you okay? I'm fine. No, you're not. You've got that Life's a Dump look all over your face. Now tell me, what's wrong? You want to know what's wrong? I failed! I had one chance to prove myself and I blew it! I fell for the oldest trick in the book and now Earth is in danger because of me! I thought I could prove capable of being one of you guys, but I'm not. No wonder you chose Sally instead of me. Is this what this is all about? <sighs> Amy, you've always been capable. Just because I didn't choose you as my girlfriend doesn't mean I don't see you as one of my close friends. So you let a con artist trick you. Big whoop. He tricked all of us. You're still one of the smartest, strongest, most wonderful people I've ever met. And it doesn't matter if you don't think so, because I know so. And if anyone can get us out of this mess, you can. I believe in you, Amy Rose. <laughs> Thanks, Sonic. Uh, are you two holding hands? Uh, what? No, 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 absolutely no, 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 no. Wait, what just happened? You got me, but something tells me it made the fans happy. <clears throat> so, does anyone have any ideas on how to get out of here? I think I've got one. Leave it to a master decorator. Back in Hedgehog Village, Mario and Luigi desperately try to think of a plan to take down the Obliterator bot. Are you sure you got no power-ups of any kind? Fresh out, bro. Not even a single mushroom? Not the select anyone. Yeah, now, I think I might have a power-up mushroom in my burrow. What? Since when? There's lots of things you don't know about me. I hold many secrets in my mind. Secrets the government will never get out of me. Not even without- Okay, okay, just get the mushroom already. We're running out of time. Mario, we need to hurry. The obliterator bots are right towards us. You can't beat me. You are still cuckoo crazy. I know, I know. Don't worry, Luigi. Got this all under control. I think. I found the mushroom. Here you go. Wait, how'd you get here so fast? You know what, don't bother. Mm. It's a bit stale. Well, a power-up's a power-up. And with that, Mario grew and grew until he was the same size as the Obliterator bot, putting him toe-to-toe -to -toe with the villains. Uh-oh. Uh here we go. Woohoo! At the circus, Amy put her plan into action getting Barker's attention. You know, that canopy over there, it's the wrong color! What are you talking about? The color is perfectly fine. No, no, it's too turquoise! It should be teal! Everyone knows that! What? They're the same color! No, they're not! One's bluish green, the other's greenish blue! Oh, and I suppose you want me to let you out of that cage so you can use color swatches to show me my error? Well... Face it, you can't fool a con artist. I've been in this game far longer than you have ever known. Did you seriously think you could delude me with the oldest trick in the book, hmm? No, I just needed to distract you long enough for Tails to call out the van. The, the what? <laughs> At that very moment, the Doomobile came crashing through the tent, throwing Barker off his feet 
and knocking the cages that the band were trapped in over, setting them free. You know, I was mistaken. It was Teal after all. <sighs> Gods, attack! At once, several clown goons and batniks came charging in, all looking ready for a fight. Uh, the arm cannons on the clowns are new. Ready, dudes? After you, Miss Manager. Thanks! hi -ya! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back in Hedgehog Village, the giant Mario was locked in combat with the Obliterator Bot, and seemed to be gaining the upper hand. This ends today, fakers! Yeah! Give it to him! Who knew a fungus could provide such amazing abilities? Don't tell the FDA about this. Trust me, I know their type. Yeah. Only, I just don't think it's going to last much longer. Oh, pasta sauce! As if on cue, the effects of the mushroom wore off, and Mario shrank until he was his normal size again, making him completely vulnerable to the giant robot. Oh, yeah! Why your time? Oh boy, I'm getting too old for this. The Obliterator bot immediately began beating Mario up until he was lying face down on the ground. Squish him. Squish him. The robot lifted up its foot, ready to crush the plumber into red jelly. It was then that Luigi ran over to his brother and began pulling him away from where the foot would come crashing down. I don't want to bro. I've got you. Bye bye, losers. Huh? Hey, stupid, what gives? I don't know, but there's this little icon popping up. Out of battery? Ah, no wonder Eggman rejected this. What? I thought it said reject because it's perfect for rejects like us. I'm going to punch you all over your face, I'm going to break your nose, I'm going to break your chin. Back at the circus, the good guys were giving their all, fighting Barker's minions. Meanwhile, Barker himself made a hasty retreat to a circus car nearby. Sonic! He's escaping! Not if I can help it. You got the keys to the Dune Mobile? Right here! Great! Toss him here! Everyone, get in! to bring this thing. Yeah, yeah. Tails, knuckles, are the weapon systems loaded? Ready as they'll ever be. Eat dirt, you hog. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> they just don't relent, do they? Aim for the tires! Now, now, fellows, let's be civilized about this. I'm just a businessman doing... business. Yeah, well, your business is our business. Besides, I think they're waiting for you. All right, P.T. Barnum, come over here with your hands up. It's T.W. Barker. You forget I'm also a lawyer. I'll squeeze my way out of jail and I'll be back, Sonic Heroes. You can count on it. Well, that takes care of that. But Eggman's still flying over the city. We only had three minutes before he blows Station Square off the face of the Earth. That's no good. Why do I feel that's not my line? Don't worry, guys. I've got a plan. Back to the circus! Wait, we were just trying to get out of there, and you want us to go back? Trust me! In Hedgehog Village, Wario and Waluigi were still fighting inside the Obliterator bot like idiots and Luigi had just gotten Mario to wake up from his unconsciousness. What happened? You got hit pretty hard. The giant robot is broken, but we still need to take it down. Well, what do you suggest we do? I don't know. You're the smart one. Come on, little bro. Use that brain of yours. I know you can. Oh, okay. Um, uh, we could push it down? You think we can? Maybe not alone, but together. With damn work, 
I'm sure we can! Ready, bro? Let's go! Come on, come on! I have to break every bone you're in, eh? Hey, what gives? What's going on? Uh, we seem to be tipping over. What do you mean? Oh, fooey! With her combined strength and the super cheesy power of teamwork, the two brothers were able to top over the obliterator bot, sending it crashing down to the ground. Wow! Well, we actually did it. That's my bro! Glug, 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 glug! They did it! They saved the village! I was told there'd be pie. Thank you! It was the least we could do! Gangway! Out of the way! Coming through! I've got my secret weapon made just for taking down Obliterator! Oh, you already took it down. Yep, we did it together, as a team. Nah, as brothers. Huh, usually it takes us five to take down these robots, and often in 11 minutes. It's almost as if someone writes it that way. <laughs> nah, pure coincidence. Uh, <coughs> this is all your fault. I should have known better than to trust someone who picks a broken, rejected robot. Oh, sure. Blame me. It was you who said we should take one of those machines. Uh, let's get out of here before we're arrested. Have a rotten day. Is that garlic you're holding? What about the dock? Boy on the dock. I need to unwind. Mario, they're getting away. Well, let them go. They're defeated. Mamma mia, I need a vacation from this vacation. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm pooped. High above Station Square, Eggman was counting down the seconds to when he would launch his attack. Just 15 seconds left! Come on, don't leave me waiting! Either turn control of this world over to me, or be blown to smithereens! In five... four... Three, two, one! What? Impossible! You came out of nowhere and destroyed my windshield! Seriously, do you know how much that costs? Amy launched the three of us out of a circus cannon, sending us up here. I haven't pulled that move off since 2004. And now you're finished, Egg Breath! And he ain't kidding. I'm a talking blue hedgehog in sneakers. Do I look like I'm kidding? Uh, this isn't over! And with that, Eggman pushed the button, launching the missile attack on the city. No! If I can't rule this world, then no one can! Have fun exploding! At once, a comically large missile shot out from the ship, headed directly towards the city's center, with the prime objective to blow up the entire city in one tremendous blast. However, the mad doctor didn't count on a small pink hedgehog, who happened to be in the city's center at the time, nor her gigantic hammer. Take this, you overgrown bottle rocket! hi -ya! Amy's hammer sent the missile hurtling up, away from the city, and into the sky. No way! I can't believe this! Oh, yeah! Right, Amy! Who All did right. it? Uh, guys? Isn't that missile heading right towards us? For once in his life, Knuckles was right. Amy had caused the missile to deflect from the city, and now it was rocketing back up to the airship where Eggman and Dudatude still were. Oh, this is not good. Ah! It's every egg for himself! Eggman quickly jumped into the only escape pod and made his getaway, leaving Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles trapped on the doomed ship. This looks like the end for Dudatude. It was an honor, my dudes. Not today! Tails, quick, fight formation! On it! Hang on! Back on the ground. Wow! I sure hit it hard that time. Wait, now it's heading towards... <gasps> oh no! What have I done? Guys! Up here! Sonic? 
Amy looked up and saw Tails using his twin tails to fly himself, Sonic, and Knuckles down to safety. I almost forgot you could do this! Yeah, you weren't this heavy back then! Guys! You're okay! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry! I wasn't looking where I was aiming! I should've hey, looked- Hey, don't get yourself all worked up, Amy! You did it! You saved the city! I did? Of course! If it weren't for your planning, not to mention your hammer, this place would be reduced to rubble! Yeah, and it would've gone kersplooey too. Now this just proves it! Amy is officially staying on as our official road manager! Yeah! Oh, you guys! Alright, bring it in, group hug. <laughs> Later on that night, Amy was using an interdimensional communicator crafted by Christopher Thorndike to contact Styx and inform her of all that had occurred. And then, as a way to thank us, the Mayor Station Square allowed us to perform in the Central Park Amphitheater! Wow, that certainly sounds exhilarating! How are the Mario Brothers doing? They're doing fine! Mario's currently napping in Sonic's hut! Tell Sonic not to worry, Luigi promises they'll keep everything intact! and not get spaghetti all over the place. Good to know. Well, I gotta go. The band's waiting on me. Alrighty, come back soon, Amy. I will. Bye, Sticks. You doing okay, Ames? Oh, of course. Just wanted to say thank you. You know, for helping us out, being road manager and all. Well, I should be thanking you. You see things in me I don't see in myself. And I guess it helps me be more than I am on my own. Heh. <laughs> we bring out the best in each other. You sure Sally won't mind if we're... band buddies? <laughs> Amy! Hey, someone order a heart-shaped box of chocolates? Knuckles! Knuckles! What? I was hungry and felt like going fancy. Your life will be like a box of chocolates. You may never know who you're gonna meet. Okay, guys, it's showtime. All right, let's go. Hold up, one more thing. <sighs> yes. Kick some butt out there. Will do. Okay, dudes, let's rock. Thanks for having us tonight, everyone. I just wanted to give a very special shout out to our new road manager, the one and only Amy Rose. Without her, we wouldn't be on the stage right now. This one's for you, Amy. This is my escape I'm running through this world And I'm not looking back Cause I know I can go Where no one's ever gone And I'm not looking back But how will I know When I get, get there? there And how will I know When to leave We all gotta start I see it, I see it, and you know it's all within my reach. It is my I see it, I see it now. It's always been inside of me. Now I feel so free. My time to shine has come, I feel it. it. As fast as I can go, straight to the top, I know you'll, you'll see it. it. So please make me up when, when I, I get, get there. there. It feels like I'm lost, lost in a dream. dream. 
fans are just as pumped as ever for ugh, snooping as usual. I see. Sweet. 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 Eat dirt, you hog. Hey, Luigi, you gotta stop eating. Hey, Luigi, you gotta stop eating this stuff. Ugh. You guys some kind of physics or something? You guys some kind of physics or something? You guys some kind of physics or something? Oh, I read that wrong. Are you guys some kind of psychics or something? Standing next to Eggman was a shifty-looking Mobian dog, dressed in a fancy red Ringmaster's jacket. Blech. Standing next to Eggman was a shifty-looking Mobian dog, dressed in fancy Ringmaster. Blech. Amy swung her hammer hard at the steel cage. <laughs> Why am I laughing? Knuckles launched a full-on attack against the cage, swinging his fists, kicking, even banging his. <laughs> so, I, I gotta stop laughing at that. Bang his head. <laughs> That's real good. Oh gosh. Why do, why do I... It's this part right here that says it was at that moment that the Doomobile came crashing. <laughs> like, it makes me want to say it was at that moment Barker knew he effed up. Oh, I gotta take this seriously. It was at that moment that the Doomobile came crashing through the... I'm sorry. It was at that. <laughs> oh, Barker did. I guess it's. I guess it's me now. It was at this moment I knew I messed up. The Obliterator bots immediately began beating Mario up until he was lying face down on the floor. Oh, gosh, live and learn. I'm reading lyrics. <laughs> Nice of Eggman to let us borrow this robot, eh, Waluigi? Huh, a little deja vu right there. Hotel Mario, eh? Sorry, Amy. Since Juditude hasn't booked a concert, it's, uh... 
Oh my god. Sorry, Amy. Sorry, Amy. Since Juditude ha- Sorry, Amy. Uh... Our... Our idleness is, uh... Our idleness has caused us to become fairly lackadaisical. I agree. You're very organized. You're very organized. <laughs> oh, my British accent is coming back. Yeah. Okay. I agree. You're very organized. I agree. You're very... I agree. You're very... Yeah. 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 I... Yeah. Yeah. So it be able... So it will be able to automatically come... So it will be able to automatically... So. So it will be a... So it will be able to... So. So it'll be able to automatically... So it'll be able to automatically... So... So it will... Ready as well. Oh. We only have three... We only had three minutes. <sighs> Sticks, I told you to ask them if they could book a show in the Mushroom Kingdom sometime. Eh, yeah, well, I guess that's what sequels are for. Come on, go, let's do it! Next show, Mushroom Kingdom, what do you say? Hey, we got a Bowser and Yoshi and some Koopa Troopers. And of course, we can have Eggman on around. And why not? <laughs> <laughs>